Hey everyone, welcome to Quarter Mile Farm. My name is Carrie. I am out here in our greenhouse. It is uh, the second day of February and I've been out here just doing, I did a couple other videos of seed openings and I wanted to update you guys on the seedlings that I planted mid-January, the seedlings, the seeds that I planted mid-January. I'm sure you're just dying to know what's happening with them. Did they grow? Are they all rotten in the ground? Are they frozen? What's going on? We did have warmer weather in January. We were getting up into the 50s, which in this area is unusual. And in fact, we had our January weather in December. <laughs> um, but anyway, so mid-December or mid-January, we were having this warm spell, so I thought I'd plant seeds out here to see if I could get them to germinate and maybe start growing some greens for us. And now it is a couple weeks later and I thought I'd update you. And then I mentioned in my other video with seeds that I have some broccoli that I wanted to plant out here too to see if I can get a head start on growing some of that. So let me show you what this raised bed looks like now. So we'll just start on this side where I had the lettuce. This is lettuce I'd gotten from a friend of mine. And you can see the cold snap that we've just had recently. We've gotten down into the teens again. And this lettuce is kind of wilty, but I think it might actually still survive. We'll just have some of the, you know, leaves on the outside that are gonna be no good. And a lot of these though are still doing well. And I did actually use a row cover, um, not in the way that row covers should be used. I just have, I just, part of it I cut into like a two and a half foot length and I just laid it over the top. Um, I don't have anything to do like the hoop covers with them so um, I just laid it on this. And these two down here weren't covered and that's why like this one is a little more worse off than that. And I'm not sure, this one was covered too, so I'm not sure why that one's doing bad, but. Anyway, so we still have lettuce growing out here. And we'll go over here to where I planted the spinach. And let me show you if I can find it here. Yes, look at it. This was one row of spinach. I can't remember which type I planted where, but I have several popping up. And then this was the second row of spinach. And you can see right there, I have one popping up. And I don't know if there's, oh yeah, there is another one popping up right there. So I have spinach coming up. I planted it in January, zone seven, uh, seven, what, seven A. Um, 6B, 7A, depending on the year, we fluctuate because <laughs> I think we're right on the line between the two zones. Um, this is in a, you know, a, I guess a fiberglass uh, greenhouse, so it can stay a little warmer in here, I think, than like a plastic greenhouse would. I don't know, but it does get pretty warm. But here's lettuce, and I think uh, this one was the red lettuce. Like. Or this might have been the, yeah, this was the Marvel of Four Seasons. And this has popped up <laughs> just, you know, I planted quite a few seeds in here. So those are nicely, you know, lettuce in January, January, February. Um, and then right here, this one, this row has some popping up too, but they aren't as big or prolific yet. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to see some of them, but they are popping up. There's one there, one there. My peas, on the other hand, I haven't done a thing. And I dug down in here trying to find it. I may have found a couple of the peas. Um, but yeah, the peas are a no-go at this point. We'll see if they do anything in the next few weeks. Um, so yeah, not sure the peas will do anything yet. So I'll try planting again later, but I'm just thrilled that we have the spinach and the lettuce popping up, especially when lettuce heads are getting to be so expensive these days. So, um, I did have this row cover over, the, row cover over them, just like this. Um, light still gets through for the most part, so 
yeah, they can still grow under there. So I wanted to take this rhubarb, not rhubarb, the broccoli here and just plant a few seeds like back in here where some of this lettuce has come out, you know, there was one here. So I'll plant seeds kind of intermixed with the lettuce here and see if we can get any broccoli germinating this winter. broccoli seeds in the ground so we'll see in a few weeks if we can start having some broccoli seeds popping up so I'll do another update when that happens you can see the honeyberry bushes I was showing you uh, they're starting to have little green tips pop out and then my rhubarb that's in pots in here they're also starting to grow the rhubarb that's in my garden still they also have little things getting ready to pop out of the ground start growing so I'm excited about that uh, still the middle of winter but spring is on the way and I'm really excited about that well thanks for joining me here for this seed planting time in February we'll see you next time bye